Well, welcome everybody. You join us here for our coverage of what is set to be a truly exciting final. Formalities are underway. Everybody is soaking up an energetic, highly charged atmosphere within the ground. The teams will be with us very shortly. We look forward, of course, to that special moment. In the meantime, we take in the feeling of excitement and euphoria ahead of what should be a really outstanding fight. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. And here is the national anthem of Italy. performance and now here comes the response Two teams, Jim Beglin, with one common thought, to have their names on this famous trophy. Yes, Peter, I've been a, a winning finalist and I've been a, a losing finalist and I don't need to tell anyone what I preferred. Winning will help fans remember you for a long, long time, so I sincerely wish both teams well and hope that all the players can give a good account of themselves and, and you've heard it before, may the best team do it. What are we to expect in this final? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Jorginho. Just brushed off the ball there. Maguire. Stones. And it's Sterling. Deftly done. Sterling tried to play it through. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Chiellini. Chiellini goes looking. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Saka has it in a wide position, so what next? Has a pop! Di Lorenzo. Marco Verratti. with a long pass Spinazzola is there and he can get that clear Jorginho Barrera good challenge he just stood firm yeah that does look a foul referee's given a free kick Chiesa. Mm -hmm. 
Barella. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And that's been one straight back. Phillips. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. All is over the line. Italy have it back and they can go again. Chiesa. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Saka. That's a decent ball. Now it's Sterling. Lorenzo Insigne. Bonucci. Bonucci is fouled. Hoists it high, well positioned to make that interception. And it's Insigne. Phillips. It's on a plate. Barrera looks to dink one in. Oh, good interception. Back to the keeper and try something new. Phillips, Rice, whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. So another team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So Jim, the halfway point of the final, what are you thinking? Look, this is classic final tension and, and nerves. Um, it's still got time to go from tentative to thrilling, I hope. England head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. By the team any further forward than they were when they started out. So we're just settling back into this second half. England playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Immobile gets it back. Phillips, Saka, Di Lorenzo gets into the right position to intercept. Keeper sends it forward. Forward it goes. Immobile finds himself offside. Kyle Walker. Pickford tries to stroke it through. Sterling tries to get it forward quickly. Yep, it's a corner. Chiesa tries to clear. It's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Questions were asked, and he's given the answers. Kane! Kane! Oh, it's gone in! Could that be the start of something big? England are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven.
England have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. And here's Sterling. Has a hit! Oh, taken with style! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Italy are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. England take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. The changes then in quick succession. been levered clear it is a corner keepers not concerned by that well they're being made to force the issue but they need to be patient and, and a little more composed well, that's a foul simple decision for the referee the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. <laughs> Sterling. It's Kane! Oh, what a wonderful stop! The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Rice. And it's Insignia. Stones sticks in a foot to win it back. And the counter is on. Sterling gets it out to the wing. He gets past his man. That's good defending, very good defending. Spinazzola tries a pass forward. Across the field it goes. Insignia. Walker with the slide tackle there. He's looked long this time. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Now it's Berardi. Shaw battles to win it back. Rice. Oh, no, that Immobile! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. <laughs> there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. All through needs to be good here. Rice. <laughs> Tries lifting it over. Chiellini cuts it out. Barrera. Berati plays it forward. Finds himself eased off the ball. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. That 
was travelling. And that's that. And so the moment has come. The trophy shimmers as they prepare to receive it. A never-to-be-forgotten moment. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.